All right, long before global authorities were linking this uh, Egypt Air situation to a possible crash, Donald Trump was tweeting about it hours before, saying that it looks like yet another terrorist attack. To Kelly Jane Torrance from The Weekly on what she makes of this, um, he, he looks like he was proven right. Um, I wonder how you folks of The Weekly stand to keep track of that because he's done this before. Proof press, if it is, is that case. What do you think? You know, I think that his tweeting indicates a bit of a lack of prudence. Now, look, when a president is in office, he needs or she needs to be very careful about rushing to judgment. Now, you know, president's words have a big effect around the world, even more than a presidential candidate with millions of Twitter followers. So you really have to be careful. That said, it's clear that uh, he wanted to bring up terrorism and make it an issue again in the campaign. Because every time terrorism has been an issue in this campaign, it's benefited Donald Trump more than anybody else. You know, um, Kelly Jane, I was thinking about some of the other things he made hay of in which incidents would later on eerily bear him out, whether he's talking about violence along the border or problems in sanctuary cities, the problem with them in general, and then we had a woman who was killed in a sanctuary city uh, by an illegal. Uh, the growing European uh, culture acceptance of Muslims who live in their own communities, and then we had the attacks in Paris and in Brussels, that incidents bear out his warnings and fears, uh, this latest terror incident may be uh, the latest of that. What, what do you make of the effect that has and what voters think? Because they go back and they start saying, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. I mean, he is keyed into something real here. And he is, I mean, terrorism should be a big part of this campaign. Look, over the last few years, we've seen the rise of attacks by foreigners and homegrown radicals. They're on the, attack, they're on the rise at home, they're on the rise abroad. Uh, it should be an issue, and I think uh, he started seeing that happening and keyed into it. Now, Hillary Clinton has hardly made that an issue in the campaign, uh, which it really needs to be. The, the, clearly, the policies well, later of the, in the last... Well, day, she did <laughs> cite this as a terrorist incident. I don't know... What well, she she, I guess there's no YouTube video to blame, but, uh, you know, clearly the policies of the last eight years haven't made us safer, and they haven't okay. made us more loved in the Muslim world. All right, uh, and that you. needs to be discussed in the campaign. You're right about that on both sides. Uh, thank you very, very much. By the way, as we were speaking here, we're getting this from Reuters, that a U.S. review of imagery so far has not produced any signs of an explosion aboard that crashed Egypt's air. Uh, it's very early in the going. But in other words, even this notion that uh, a terrorist-related explosion down this plane might be preempted, might be a bit too much, might be a bit ahead of the facts as they are now. Confused? Don't join the club.